Uh, I'm Michael Matthews, and I'm the director for 12 Angry Men. We have a kid on trial for murdering his father. And so we have 12 men that go inside of a jury room and think that it's going to be guilty across the board, and we're out of there. And then one man raises his hand and says, not guilty. Hi, I'm Seamus Dever, and I'm playing juror number eight in 12 Angry Men. My character is, is the first holdout uh, with all the other jurors voting guilty. Mine's the only one who thinks that there might be reason to doubt. I'm the chance for someone to actually think about um, the consequence of voting a boy guilty and sending him to the electric chair. I'm Richard Berge, and I'm playing juror number three. This guy is angry all the time. It seems like there's an undercurrent of anger, which I can relate to. My name is Andy Barnacle. I'm playing juror number nine, a very old man. He is approximately 80 years old. He's uh, obsessed with taking this job seriously. He's the first one to change his mind after it suggested that uh, votes shouldn't be unanimous. You know what I love about theater is this, this family that she established with these complete strangers. I, I, I love the process of theater, and I love seeing someone like Michael who gets our fears and guides us. The script is set in 1957. It could have been written yesterday, it could have been written this morning. And that's a really crazy thing that it's so relevant. It really makes a very important case about what our legal system is and should be. We listen with this bias, and this play is such a great reflection of our times. People can start to relate to those that they find repellent and open up in order to gain some sense of understanding deeper for themselves. I think regardless of political party, I think just meeting eye to eye and discussing logically uh, what people want, I think that's why people should see this play. Simple.